Hello, this is Matt Wilhelm from Yellowstone Fly Fishing School in Livingston, Montana, working in partnership with Montana Angler Fly Shop in Bozen, Montana. And today I'd like to show you the bow and arrow cast. Now, this bow and arrow cast is near and dear to me because I love to fish small mountain creeks here in Montana. So those small mountain creeks are near and dear to me. And so this cast can be very important up there. A lot of times on a small creek, whether it's a mountain creek or a, or a bushy uh, overgrown creek in the Midwest or the Northeast, sometimes there's not enough room for a back cast or a false cast or even a roll cast. So a bow and arrow cast is a great cast to incorporate into that fishing situation. And this is what a bow and arrow cast looks like. Basically what we're doing is, is I'm, gonna, I'm holding the fly line right where the fly line meets the leader and I'm going to pull on the fly line which is going to bend and load the rod. And then I'm just going to simply let go and the cast will flick out there bow and arrow style like that. Now let me show you something about rod positioning real quickly with the bow and arrow cast. I feel it's pretty important to have the rod tip at about a 45 degree angle to the water. That keeps the rod tip out to my left hand side lessening the chance that I would hook myself with the fly. If I bring that hand back behind my head like this, I've got a better chance of hooking myself with that fly. So I like to tilt it out to the side, bend the rod by pulling on the line, loading the rod, and then aim your rod at the direction you want your fly to go, let go. So that's the bow and arrow cast. It's a great cast for fishing in tight quarters on small creeks.